I know, I know, where's the GT350R? I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but first, I hope you guys aren't gonna be like too mad. I have not touched the Honda S2000 since I hobbled it back from the racetrack. Oh, Andrea's home. Just where I left it. <sighs> I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get this into the garage, but uh, we're gonna try. Okay, it feels like I might have a little bit of clutch pedal right now. All right, cold start. It's been a long time. Where's even the start button? Oh yeah. A little bit of that Honda reliability. I like that. Uh, now let's take the top off for this Voyager. That's a little bit better. Wish me luck here. Oh, I'm in. I'm in reverse. I think this is a good sign. Oh yeah, I'm in. I'm in. See, before I couldn't do that. Hey babe, how was work? I have some clutch pedal. You do? Yeah, so I think uh, it might not be as serious as I thought. Good. I think that this is a really good sign. I'm hoping that I can just change the clutch fluid. I bought a, I bought a special tool to make that happen. A turkey baster. So my plan is, I got some really good clutch fluid. My plan is to scoop out some of this old stuff and put the new stuff in. There was a comment that was on the video where I was at the track and I lost the clutch. Said that maybe I might, I might just be able to get away with swapping out the fluid. So before I order a clutch master cylinder, I'm gonna swap the fluid and see if that helps. Oh, I did miss this car. Okay, so let's look under here. Okay, so you can probably see the master cylinder. It does have a little bit of liquid uh, around that back side of it, but it doesn't look like it's actually been dripping down. Ugh. Okay, so the clutch fluid is right here. Pretty dark, but at least there's fluid in there. Okay, so I just want to give a shout out right here to Zero PSI. Okay, he's the one that said the dreaded clutch engagement issue. Very common on the S. You can try to remove the old clutch fluid using a turkey baster. That honestly may do the trick if the seals aren't completely done. Worked for me. Check under the dash for leaking. Okay, yeah, so shout out to Zero PSI. And uh, man, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot here. We're gonna give it a shot. Well, there's not much in here at all, huh? Ugh. This stuff is dirty. Is that it? Just... Okay, so pretty gross. Is this the good stuff? I'm not actually sure. ATE original? That's what I'm going with. So I'm thinking I'll pour a little bit in, maybe try to press the clutch pedal a few times, pull it out, put a little bit more in, try to press the clutch in, and see if I can flush any of it.
Okay, so that was obviously really painless. Um, I don't know if that's fixed the problem. Um, the clutch pedal still feels like it's kind of engaging towards the bottom half of the pedal. So I'm gonna mob around with this thing. I'm gonna try to break it kind of on the street and, um, and just see what happens. You know, if I need to put in a new master cylinder, I think it's a pretty easy swap and uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes. So kind of cool. While I was under there, I realized that I can adjust where the clutch pedal basically engages. Uh, and it just takes like a 13 millimeter wrench. I can spin the plunger out of the clutch master cylinder. And I think I might have adjusted it um, so it's engaging good. We'll go for a drive and we'll see. Now I have to be careful because last time I was mobbing around in the S2000, I got a speeding ticket. This is great. This is great news, right? The S2000 is back. It's running good. I could probably take it to the track tomorrow or something if if there was a track day. There might be. There might be. We don't know. Where's the Shelby, right? Normally the Shelby is here. Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, I was noticing a little bit of noise coming from my left rear uh, wheel hub bearing assembly. And so I know that that stuff for Ford is covered under powertrain, bearings, axles, um, hub, assembly, whatever. So I made an appointment. I took it to Duval Ford, which is pretty close to me. They're actually the ones that had that uh, 2016 80 mile GT350R that they're selling for 100,000. It's kind of upsetting, right? I had an appointment for two days ago at 0700. So like first thing in the morning, drop the car off. I didn't hear anything all day. It goes by another day. I didn't hear anything. And then I called them like late this afternoon. I said, hey, what's going on with the car? and no one's done anything they haven't even looked at it yet so a little bit unfortunate um i'm not i'm not hating on them yet but like what's going on i had an appointment like i told you what the problem was and i didn't hear anything back so hopefully early next week whatever they they just like replace the bearing or the hub or whatever it is i think on the s550 the gt350s the rears are kind of known to fail a little bit, so I'm not too worried about it. If it wasn't under warranty, I'd probably just do it here. The part I don't think is that expensive. And plus, I think you can buy the performance ones that have like longer wheel studs in them. Uh, I would probably do that, but since the car is still under warranty, 
you know, I dropped it off and, and hopefully they're gonna take care of it soon. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm very happy I can start driving this thing again because I I just kind of left it out in the street and forgot about it, you know, but um, anyways, so far so good. I'm gonna continue driving it. I'm probably gonna, whatever, take it out a few times before I actually schedule a track day and I'm definitely gonna get a trailer this time. I'll just rent another one from U-Haul. Shout out to the comments section on the video where it broke because basically you guys are the ones that fixed it. So thank you so much. Jason Andrews, the All-American Driver. I'll see you guys in the next episode.